Well, on that note, welcome everybody to Donkey Kong Country Race here with Cyrus Seal. Uh, <laughs> both streaming on our respective channels. I'll probably zip this together on the same screen later for YouTube's sake, but uh, yeah, we're doing an any percentage race, but still an intent to play all the levels through, so we're kind of like banning the use of level warps. Um, Still not too sure on that one. There's some leniency, I think, with some of the minor little skips that you have to take. But, uh, like, right. anything like the Minecart Madness or Carnage one where you jump over and it skips half the level or Stop Go Station where you can skip half the level, like those kind of things. Um, we also are making ourselves do with each of the animal bonus missions at least once through our playthrough for completion. And is there anything else that we added to this one? It's pretty simple. I think that was it. Other than the fact that we're far from, uh, what's the speed runners? <laughs> and I think we talked before this, and it's been at least 10 years since I've played this, and apparently like 20 or 30 for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know how you've gone that long. <laughs> I haven't beat the game in about 20 years. <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves to the, uh, one player thing. Yeah. You're, okay. Are you there? Uh, one player thing, you said. Yeah, All I'm right. here. Clicking go in three, two, one. All right. All right. I'm in. I'm not. Oh, this had You're like. You're not? No, no, I just had my heart start going a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't done so. I did this with like Mario 64 once, uh, like a good while ago, but never actually finished it. Oh, I already screwed up. Damn it. Yeah, I messed up a little bit. At least on like kind of really cool switch. shortcut stuff. Oh, I should get the ostrich. I don't know how I want to play that out. If I want to try and get this out of the way like as quick as possible or what. I don't know if the secret rooms are actually even. I don't think they're gonna be any faster. But I don't uh, play this any other way. Like every time I play it, I'm always grabbing all the secrets I know of. So yeah, same. Oh yeah. Fortunately, I never actually owned this on Super Nintendo. Do you do you own this on Super Nintendo as well, or? No, um, I should have picked it up when I had the chance. Uh, yeah. There's a place that had it for five bucks, but I thought, ah, I got it from the classic. Yeah, no, that's kind of my mentality now. It's like with collecting, it's like if I'm not gonna play it, I'm not gonna grab it. I actually got rid of some stuff a while ago. Most of my Genesis stuff, other than I think the actual console. Oh, get this guy. Rhinoceros. I feel like I should probably be using Diddy. I think he is a bit faster, largely. But I almost like having Donkey Kong out in the front as the failsafe of uh, extra hit. Right. It was a thing with this game back then. I remember they talked about where it was like the idea of lowering a uh, user interface as much as possible. So pretty much you just have the visual, visual representation of the characters and that's it. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? You'll notice too, uh, before we get there, the barrel puzzles on not CRT screens like we're both using is gonna be kind of a, a mess. Oh god. <laughs> Lost my first Kong. Oh really? <laughs> How far in are you so far? I'm backtracking because I'm looking for something. What are you looking for? Oh, I just lost. Wait, I think. Donkey Kong? I was looking for uh fuck. Screwed up. I screwed up oh, the bonus. Wow. Oh, actually, I can still get it. Okay. Uh. I was looking for the last uh, ostrich. Oh, like the, the little golden statue of him? Yeah. Oh god, come on. I am happy with my controller choice, though. I made sure I could get uh, my Wii U Pro controller working for this, rather than um, using the Xbox One controller. Right. Oh, I probably don't want to spend too much time in these bonuses. Although the extra life, I'm I'm kind of debating on that. The extra lives might be nice uh, when I get to like the last couple worlds where I'm definitely gonna struggle. I don't know how much <clears throat> I'm gonna struggle with this, honestly, though. Um, I know some of the levels are really tricky. Some of those later ones, like when I got a chance to revisit this on um, damn it, how do we? I forget which one it is. It's fine. Okay, I don't need it. Oh, you know what? I think it was there. Um, actually, I ended up playing this again on the Game Boy Advance when I got a Game Boy Advance. 
And that's actually where I probably most recently played it all the way through. Or the um, right. Wii Shop or um, the Wii from the shop channel. I think that that shut down recently, didn't it? Yeah, for the actual Wii. So if you have it on there, um, yeah, I think they allow you to download it if it's purchased, but they don't let you purchase anything. And if you still have Wii points or whatever, then you can make a purchase still. I just, saw, uh, I just saw everyone going nuts over the, um, the shop channel theme, <laughs> which was... Uh, I don't know if people loved it so much. I certainly remember it, of course, but... I, um... Oh, fuck. I thought the swordfish was there. Um... I probably spent more money on there than anyone should have, but... <laughs> honestly, it was... Oh, fuck. It was, um... The best ways to revisit the games for me at the time. Right. Because, like, I didn't actually own this one, say, or any of these games. We just kind of, like, rented them and borrowed them several times. Yeah... Uh, when this was new, I mean, video rental stores were were big, <laughs> so that's that's how I've played and beat it. That's one thing I, what's one thing I never thought about dying off. Honestly, was like rental stores. Yeah, I guess no one could really either. predict the effect the internet was gonna have, but yeah, I probably there's certain games I probably rented so many times I could have bought them, but <laughs> like uh, any of the Rush games on N64. But I did buy them eventually, so... Yeah. <sighs> I did. I purchased those. Well, I didn't purchase the second one, actually. Uh, Rush 2? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think people like that one as much, but it was weird to me, because I think... I think I probably like that one more, honestly. I'm not sure what it was it's, about it. It's good, um, but... I don't know, there's just... You're right. I don't like it as much as the, the first one. Which is interesting to me because we only ever, my brother only ever wanted to play tracks, I think it's track six or something on the first one, the the last one, anyways. I forget. If... I there's only um, one or two tracks I don't like on the first one, but I don't like any of the tracks on the second one. Really? Yeah. I thought Seattle was fantastic. Um, New York Uptown and Downtown were both really fun. Uh, for... Oh. <laughs> I managed to line myself up into Eclipse somehow. Uh, just because I'm coming across it now, uh, I forget which What's level. Cranky's Cabin do for you again? Uh, he just gives you hints and secrets, I believe. Okay. But nothing nothing practical for this, in any case. Don't need to talk to him. Uh, there is the level coming up where you can take the entire, pretty much half the level through... Oh my god. Through um, the upper barrels. And don't do that. That would be like one of the shortcuts we're talking about. Just the ones that, like, if they go through, like, half the level kind of thing, you know? Right. Okay, that is a DK barrel. Sweet. Okay, let's play this a bit safer. I've managed to die twice in this level, and that's embarrassing. Okay, I could have just held right. I absolutely could have. Okay. Oh, yeah, these, these barrel puzzles are going to be a bit harder. At least the ones uh, where they rotate. That's always been a problem for me on... Uh, Alright, so don't take this thing you're saying. Can you, you know the one? It's it's one of the forest levels here. Oh, fuck. Uh, where we... Um, you can basically go on top of all the trees through all the barrels. That's what I'm talking about. Those kind of okay. shortcuts. Okay. So one thing this game is really known for is these barrel mazes. I don't think they're- I think they're a lot of fun to me until, like, I hit these kind of LED, LCD screens where it's actually a problem. <laughs> oh my god, I landed on top of them. Come on, jump. Go. Do I need that? No. Okay. So you- you said you haven't played, uh, the second or third game either, right? I've played them. I've never got very far at all. Okay. I can't remember any of the levels or anything. Fair enough. Yeah, the third one definitely wouldn't be a fair race then. <laughs> I've done hard mode completions of that game, I think, twice now. Oh, man. <laughs> Which basically takes away all your halfway barrels and DK barrels. Uh, and then you also obviously have to do the 100% uh, 
103% tactics and you just get the extra two for having it on hard mode. Alright. Oh, I didn't get that. Okay. I'm at first boss. Where are you at? Um, you're way ahead. Am I? Okay, that's, that's a bit relieving. <laughs> Just making sure I save. I'm not gonna do it here, but there's later levels where I'm actually gonna, instead of going to the next world, I'm gonna go back and save real quick because. Uh, oh yeah, that's fine. I I would do the same thing. Oh yeah, no, that's a choice. I'm just saying you might want to consider that. I wouldn't worry about it for like world two. World two is easy, but I start doing it on like Snow World. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm on to world two. I'm at the water level. Oh, damn. What have you been doing this whole time? Uh, just trying to get lives and stuff. Okay, yeah. Because I'm gonna need them. Yeah, might be a good call. I've been doing a bit of that. I could definitely be going faster, that's why I'm a bit surprised. I've gotten, I've gotten most of the bonuses I know about. I've screwed up on a bunch of the ones where it's like you have to save a barrel through like a bunch of Kremlings. If you know what I mean. Oh. Yeah. And, like break a wall open later. I've missed a bunch of those, but okay, there we go. We'll just have to make sure. I think we're doing this all in one night. I imagine we can do that. <laughs> it's I'm not gonna do my best. If not, you can use um, just because we are doing the lives thing. You can use one of your game's save states or whatever, because otherwise you'll go back to five, which is always a trope I hated about all these games. It's like, I don't know why the save doesn't save your lives as well. But... <laughs> oh, right. Right, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, let's see how the minecart level goes. This could either be really good or just be an absolute mess. Oh, fuck. I'm already timing these jumps poorly. I think my, my screen should be pretty low delay. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue for things like this. Do you have a favorite world from this game or anything? Um, not that I can remember. Oh, okay. I I really like the water levels. Yeah, no, I think just that, that song alone, pretty much. Yeah. I remember that song was, like, so iconic that there was, I think it was grade six or something I was in. One of my, my arts teacher had a CD with all this, like, soothing, relaxing music on it. And it was just like all photo. sorts of different stuff. And yeah, just randomly Aquatic Ambience was on it. <laughs> I thought that was so cool that they had like a video game song on something like that. Oh, I think I got the yep, first bonus for the ostrich. Oh, okay, yeah. Those eat up quite a bit of time, that's why it's like... Most time people try not to get them, but... So you got the ostrich done then. Yep. Okay. Check that one off the list. What is there for? Uh, five. Frog, four, yeah. ostrich, fish, and <laughs> I died at the end of minecart. Fuck. <laughs> Literally at the end of it. <sighs> kind of wish I was doing this on my classic as well, because when it comes to like scrolling levels like this on the computer, for some reason, like the screen blurs a bit. Obviously just oh, I do speed, these but... little uh, emblems too for you again. Which emblems? Oh, just lives. Like the tiny ostrich em emblems I'm collecting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every hundred you get is going to give you a live at the end. Life at the end. And um, everything... Oh, I thought I screwed up. Everything beyond a hundred. So if you have like 426, mm -hmm. the 26 will also count as an extra life. So. Nice. Yeah, it, it rounds up basically no matter what. And then there's also usually a super secret hidden area that like doubles the total that you currently have. Yeah, I think I got that. Yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't realize it doubles the total that you currently have. Yeah. I thought it doubled. Still worth getting. Uh, cause yeah, that's the one all the way. You fly over the top right wall and the ostrich one. Right. I honestly, I don't even think I know them all. I can't remember the uh, swordfish one, or the rhino one. I think's also kind of hard to do, but. Fuck. I don't know why I'm struggling so much on minecart. It's good for you, probably. Yeah, let me catch up. 
<laughs> I thought you'd be ahead of me on this, honestly. I was very concerned. Okay, okay. Just don't screw up. That last one they throw at you to fake you out it actually did fake me out the first time. Okay. Alright, bouncy bonanza. The cave will be. Barrel cannon cannon. Barrel. What? What? How did I die from that? Oh no. Oh, I almost just took the freaking uh... shortcut. Shortcut. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, we said if we take a shortcut by accident, you just gotta like self destruct basically. Okay, I'm just not taking any chances here. I don't know. I'm playing with the lead. I'm just gonna play it safe, I think. <laughs> As I almost killed myself. Alright. Oh, hey, buddy, what's up? Freaking bees. It's a weird thing about this series, uh, the further you go in the games, you notice that there stops being less regular gigantic bees, and they start being more, um, mechanical. <laughs> like, they have buzz yeah. saws, basically, instead of stingers. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like the second game has both, and the third game's just mechanical bees everywhere. But yeah, definitely check the other two out if you ever get the chance. Okay. You know, when you're not playing such good games as uh, Doom on 3DO. No. no. <laughs> I gotta kill myself. Oh, you took it? I took one. What'd you end up taking? It's it's kind of mid-level, but it skipped a big puzzle. Skipped a big puzzle? What? Uh, you might I don't be, know how to explain it. You might be fine. Alright. It's mostly just like there's actual barrels that'll warp you through the level. That's kind of the concern. I mean, yeah, it's it's it kind of get me through the level, but I just it's fine. Anything gray area like that, just just play it by ear. Okay. Like there's one in the snow world too that'll just shoot you underneath the whole level through a bunch of barrels. Right. That's kind of gray area, but that's a bit extreme. I forget if it's in this game or the Game Boy Advance version, but they have actual barrels that'll show up out of no like thin air in certain spots that have W's on them and warp you through the level. Really? That's kind of what I'm talking about, yeah. It sounds like with both of our sake, like, honestly, we haven't played this in, like, 10 to 30 years each, so, like, that's <laughs> probably not a huge deal with a lot of things. Like, there's no way I can 100% this game. I've never done it, so. I think I'd be spending way too much time frustrated looking for secrets <laughs> on the fly than it's worth. All right. Okay, there we go. Because, yeah, some of the bonuses, like, warp you ahead, too. The secret rooms. So it's like, I don't think we can ban those. Like, you know? Yeah. One of them just seemingly shot me through a bunch of the level at the end, so... Stop and go station. Up to 22 lives, at least. I think I'm... I think I'm at, like, 17. Yeah, I'm not too... I'm not doing too Candy bad. save point? Yeah, definitely use them whenever you get them. Hi, Candy. Yeah, 11%. There's a... Um, boss. Not that we're using it, but with Stop and Go Station, if you just... You enter the level through the right, right? If you go back through the door in the left, it just shoots you through the entire level. <laughs> okay. It's a... Uh, Welcome to that. It's a pretty silly secret, but... It is there. Damn it. I was hoping not. It's fine. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure how much that boosts me. Yeah, I'm at 17 lives. This level is in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's God. a mine. A mine! What? <laughs> Alright, we're good, we're good. Oh, are we good? I think we're good. These dudes are running around fast and stuff. Alright, here we go. That's the fun part. Oh, God. Oh god! This level used to haunt my dreams! Ugh! Alright, <laughs> we're good. Alright, get another candy save point. Yeah, we're gonna have to like a designated break at some point for the bathroom, I think. Yep. I mean, yeah, we, we should kind of agree on that at some point. Yeah. You know. I think I'm on the hamster wheel one. Oh, I missed a thing. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Yeah, I wanna. There we go. 
Alright, alright. And, yep, got all these freaking beavers on wheels. Bonus here. <laughs> oh, it's just that. Okay. Find car carnage. It's weird thinking about how much trouble a lot of these levels gave me, and now they're just nothing. <laughs> I say that, but I'm probably gonna fuck up right after I make fun of it that way. For reference, I think I'm skipping about half the bonuses I know I could get. <laughs> and then finding ones I didn't even know existed like that one. Ooh, I got a three up for it though. Or is it two? Green's two, I think, right? What's that? Green, uh, green balloon's two up, right? I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Blue's I don't know. Blue's three. Oh man, that was close. Yeah, no, the minecart one gave me some trouble, which is embarrassing. Shouldn't have. <laughs> but I sometimes have trouble timing the last segment where all the crashed minecarts are. Which definitely was the case this time. Oh, God. I think I'm like you. It's like I've played this... Oh, no! What? I, uh, got hit and it... I had to use the halfway point. Okay. It, it, I got hit by something and then it just killed both of us. Yeah. Wait, what? I think getting yeah. hit uh, just loses. Oh wait, were you like holding left or something? Cause it gives yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you the chance to like land back in the cart. It's weird. Uh, with, yeah, that's weird. With your second it, character. It definitely killed me though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I did that one, uh, I did that one, like, three more times from the halfway point, I think. So you're good. Although, I'm on the last level of, uh, World 2 now. So, nice. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Alright. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, like you, I think I played through the first World or two here in, oh, damn it. in the last ten years, but I haven't full-on played through this in a while. Try not to burn through these lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it! I missed. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, that's a better timing for that. You're nothing, bird. You're nothing. Gotcha. Yeah, you're dead. See. <laughs> it's just bananas everywhere in these boss fights. <laughs> I love it. Vine Valley. This is definitely my favorite world. Uh, the treetop town levels are my favorite. They're so nice. These ones are pretty good too. All the freaking music's fantastic in this. So like I said, I think David Wise did the first and second game. And the third game he didn't do. But when they did the Game Boy Advance port, uh, they got David Wise back to redo that soundtrack. Alright. I didn't think it was bad. I like third one's obviously yes. my favorite. But I recently got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Turin. Alright. I got the uh, I got my hands on the uh, GBA version recently of uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Which I think nice. add, adds a whole new world or something. Oh, okay, I'm doing ostrich now. So that's ostrich off my so there's ostrich, so there's gonna be rhino, there's gonna be swordfish and uh, what else from Frog? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm watching your ostrich real quick. <laughs> I had time after that death. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even know you had my screen going. <laughs> I'm not risking anything like that. My internet's not as good as it uh, used to be by far, so. Oh. There's a second death. Same B. Alright. How many, uh, sure. how many ostrich things did you end up getting in the ostrich bonus? Four or something. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have, I might hit 600. I don't think so. Gonna be close. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna get six lives. 589. Nice. Definitely want these lives for, uh, because you don't get a save point in each world until, like, you beat a few levels, so it can be scary going in there sometimes. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh. I, I always forget if you're supposed to like hold with those. Okay, I think I gotta redo the whole level. Yep. 
Oh no. So you're on stop you're on stop and go station? Um no. Not yet. Oh you're yeah, you're in the cave one before that I guess. Okay. Okay, I try to think about which secrets I want to use here. Oh fuck, I didn't do that twice. Okay, what is the deal here? Okay, we can just overshoot. Fine. Hey birds, what's up? Alright. Oh fuck. Just hold right, I guess. Is that? Sweet, okay. Oh god, I don't wanna spend forever on this. 